Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase Eclipse from Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap. And I'll be showing you guys step by step how to transfer money from an exchange like Binance and Coinbase into your Trust Wallet so you can purchase Eclipse using PancakeSwap. It's actually quite easy to do, so just follow along as I go through step by step, and I'll show you guys how to get this done. So the first step that you guys want to do is you guys want to download Trust Wallet from the App Store. So just head over to the App Store and type in Trust Wallet. So you're going to head over here, search, then just search for Trust Wallet. And it'll just be this first one right here, Trusts, and then the Crypto and Bitcoin Wallet. So you just want to download that first. Then obviously you want to make sure that you have Binance or Coinbase or an exchange of some sort. Uh, and then create accounts on Binance, which is pretty straightforward. Most of you guys probably already have that or at an exchange that you guys at least have access to. Uh, so I'll just leave that as it is. So just make sure you guys download the Trust Wallet first. Uh, once you guys do that, you can exit out of here and open up Trust Wallet. You'll then be greeted with this right here to create a new wallet. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on create a new wallet. And that's going to let you know here that you have to back up your wallet now. And you will see 12 words that allows you to recover your wallet in the next step. So you just got to click on the bottom here that I understand that if I lose the recovery words, I will not be able to access my wallet. So it's very, very important that you guys do not lose these words or else you will lose access to your wallet. And I do not recommend taking a screenshot either. I recommend just writing it down on a piece of paper and putting it in a safe place. Uh, anyhow, you just want to click on I understand for that and then continue. Then here is your 12 words that you cannot show anyone or anything like that. I'm obviously not going to use this account. That's why I'm okay showing it. Uh, but these are the words that you guys want to write down and keep them in a safe place or else you could lose all your cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. Very, very important. Uh, anyhow, once you're done writing this stuff down, you can click on continue. And then you have to put the words in here to verify the recovery phrase. So just make sure you guys go ahead and do that. And then once you guys put those words in and in the right order, you will see this message here that your wallet was successfully created. That's exactly what you want to see. So you just want to go ahead and click on, on OK here. And then what you guys want to do next is you want to transfer over BNB or Smart Chain here. So you're going to have to go to an exchange that you either can purchase BNB or Smart Chain or you already have some in. So I'm just going to show you guys Binance, for example. So we're just going to exit out of here and head over to Binance Exchange. And what you guys want to do on here is you want to either purchase BNB or uh, you could trade it from another crypto into it. So uh, if you guys don't have anything in here yet, you guys first want to obviously create an account on Binance, but I'm going to assume you guys have already done that. Uh, so once you guys are done doing that, you just want to go to a deposit option here. So whether it's a bank transfer or a Visa or MasterCard, you can go ahead and click on that. Once you guys are in here, you guys can just go over to where it says buy. And you just want to switch this over to BNB. And then you just want to choose the amount from your native currency that you guys want to transfer into uh, BNB. So let's just say if I wanted to do $500, I can type in $500 and then it will give me 0.73 BNB. Now, if you're okay with this, you can just click on continue at the bottom and then it will go into your Binance wallet. Now to withdraw your BNB, you just want to go over to the bottom right corner where it says wallets. Click on that. Then you just want to scroll down until you find BNB. Once you guys find BNB here, you just want to go ahead and click on it. Then you want to click on withdraw. What you guys want to do now is you guys want to exit out and back over to your trust wallet. Click on the smart chain. And then you want to click on receive, copy. And this was going to copy the address for the trust wallet. Now you're going to want to put the BNB into the smart chain because it's going to be a lot easier just to quickly transfer it into the coin that you guys are looking for. Uh, so yeah, just transfer the BNB over to the smart chain just like I did here. So you just want to back out of here back over to Binance, and then you want to click on address and paste that address right here. Now, I already have it in my whitelist, so I can just click on it, but you guys are just going to want to paste it up at the very top there. Uh, now, what you guys want to do is you guys want to click on network, and just make sure it is on the BEP20 right here that mine is on. You just want to click on confirm for that, and then you want to click on the amount that you want to transfer. So if you want to transfer all of your BNB, just click on max, or you can click on the amount that you want to type in and just type in the amount that you want. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on withdraw at the bottom here. Once you guys click on withdraw, it should only take about a couple minutes to go over to your trust wallet. So we'll just give that a couple minutes and then you just want to head back over to your trust wallet. And once your BNB has transferred over into the smart chain to buy the Moonrat V2, it is a little bit of a different method. We're not able to get the BSC contract from BSC scan itself as they just updated Moonrat V2. But later on after this video is released, you guys will probably just be able to go to BSC scan and get the contract ID from there. Uh, but for Moonrat V2, as of the time of this recording, we do have to go right to Moonrat's website. So if I just go over to my browser and head over to Moonrat's website, which I'll have linked in the description below, you guys will then be on this page right here. You could just scroll down and you'll see official smart contract right here, BSC contract. You just want to go ahead and click on that. 
It will then bring you over to the new secured Moonrat token. We can then scroll down and click on the contract ID and copy it. Once we do that, we can exit out of here and go into Trust Wallet. Once we're in Trust Wallet, we want to navigate over to the top right corner and click on the little emblem there. And in the search, we want to paste that contract ID that we just got. And then we should see secured Moonrat token right here. So we can go ahead and click on that and click on search and then done. So what's going to do is it's going to add the Moonrat token into your wallet here. And once you guys have your BNB over in your smart chain on your trust wallet, you guys will just have to do a couple more steps where you can purchase Eclipse. Uh, now, first things first, you guys have to head over to CoinMarketCap to add the Eclipse into the trust wallet. So we're just going to head over to CoinMarketCap here and just search for Eclipse. So Eclipse, click on Eclipse. And then you guys will see under contracts here that the Binance Smart Chain contracts ID. You just want to copy that. And then you want to navigate back over to your trust wallet. Once you're back in Trust Wallet, you guys want to go to the top right of your screen and click on that little emblem there and just paste in your contract ID into the search. You could then enable Eclipse, click on Done. And once that is done, you guys will notice on the bottom of my screen, I have four little icons there, one being Wallet, Browser, Dex, and Settings. Now, if you guys don't have Browser there for whatever reason, if you're on iPhone, you will have to do another step. It is very, very easy. But if you guys already have Browser, you guys can skip this step and move on to the next step. Uh, but to add Browser to this application, you just want to navigate to the next link I have in the description. It will bring you over to Trust Wallet's website here. And you guys just have to enable the DApp Browser. It is very, very easy. You guys can just follow along with this if you need to. Uh, but to make it a lot quicker, all you guys really have to do is click on the Trust slash slash browser underscore enable. And then it's going to pop up something here. It's going to ask you to open. You're just going to want to click on open. And then it should bring you back over to your trust wallet with the browser there. You could also try just closing out of the app and reopening it. But then you should see your browser there and then you can move on to the next step. Once you have your browser in there, all you guys have to do is click on browser. Then head over to PancakeSwap. Click on PancakeSwap. And then you guys will just have to connect your wallet. And to do that, you just want to navigate over to the top right of the screen. And you should see an option that says connect there. And then you should see trust wallet being one of those options. Just go ahead and click on trust wallet. And then it should just automatically connect your wallet to PancakeSwap. And you'll know it's done when you see your ID up in the top right corner like mine is right there. Then all you guys have to do is head over to the three lines in the top left corner. Click on exchange. Scroll down. And then you should see BNB right there. And below that, you should say select a currency. You want to go ahead and click on select a currency. And you want to switch it over to Eclipse. Once you see Eclipse there, you want to click on it. And then you should see that added in. Now you just want to make sure your slippage tolerance is on at least 12%. So to change that, you just want to go to where the emblem is right beside the little clock emblem, those little three lines. You want to click on that and just change your slippage tolerance to 12. Once that is changed, you can click on X. And then you just have to decide the amount of BNB that you want to convert over to Eclipse. And to do that, you just click on there and type in the amount of BNB that you want to transfer over. And it should show you your exchange right there. If you're okay with your exchange, you just want to click on where it says inf insufficient balance. For me there, it should say like buy or continue for you. You just want to click on that button. It will show you a more broken down version of your transaction. And if you're okay with that more broken down version of your transaction, you can go ahead and click on confirm or purchase. And then it should tell you that it should take a couple seconds for your transaction to go through, depending on how much liquidity is in PancakeSwap at the time of your purchase. But it should only take a couple of minutes. It always has for me. Once that is done there, you guys can exit out of here and then you will find your Eclipse in your trust wallet right here with all your other tokens. Very, very easy and simple to do. If you guys need any more help with this, just let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to make more videos if it needs to be an updated video. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with this video. If it did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.